Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am in my Hobonichi Cousin in the daily spreads for the week of October 9th through to the 15th. And I feel like it's been a while since I did a daily journaling video. So the point of this video or what I wanted to show you was how I decorate all of my daily spreads ready for journaling and then take you on a little bit of a journaling journey this week and show you how I fit in my journaling through my busy days and even while I'm out traveling and even show you just a few snippets of my day-to-day -day life. So let's get started. What I'll be decorating with this week are two different collections from my shop. The first is Fall at the Farm and these have all been hand-drawn by me. These are all hand-drawn on Procreate and then I'll also be using whatever's left over of my watercolor pastel pumpkins collection. These were not made on Procreate. I actually painted these and scanned them and then put them into sticker form. So the first one I'm going to decorate is Fall at the Farm. First thing I'm going to do is use this washi tape from the washi tape shop and I'm basically going to use this in every single one of the spreads just because it's a great neutral washi that adds a little bit of decoration. And what I'm also doing is prepping all of my journal spreads and daily spreads for the rest of the week so that I don't have to worry about finding time to decorate each of my spreads each day. So I'm basically setting myself up so that I, all I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis is open up my Hobonichi Cousin and I'm just ready to journal. So with decorating, as you saw on the first page, it was very easy. I just placed a little bit of washi down, but I also used my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen to write the words to do. And then I'm going to place, let me see, which one am I gonna do? My washi tape here. This is a massive piece of massive roll of washi tape and place it down on the page. And as you can tell, I try and follow the same thing on each of the two pages so that they match, you know, washi, a, one of the circles, and then I'll place the swatches on top of the words to do. So what I love about these collections as well is that all of the colors match, so I don't have to worry about finding other stickers to go with them. And then placing pumpkins on top of the washi there as well. It's very simple, done. You know, there's not much that I need to add to that because it's basically, it's just about the writing and then you've got the pretty stickers to go around it. So again, <laughs> taking some more of that washi tape and that washi tape holder I have, I think I got that from Amazon, but I think you can get that from uh, Stationery Pal as well. So then with my Fall at the Farm collection, I'm thinking, okay, let's do my to-do at the top of the page. And with the Hobonichi Cousin, the format of this is that I always put my to-do list under where it has the day of the week or the date. And then I will place the stickers either in that left hand side corner of the day or in the bottom right hand corner of the day so it makes it very easy for me because i know exactly where i'm going to put my stickers in terms of where am i going to put these bunches and then sometimes i do put stickers up in the top corner like that and i actually like the effect of this the circle with the fence really really pretty and then oh, the two decorative circles up at the top i really like the effect of those two so here i'm really just using whatever stickers I can and just using up the collection because it's always so satisfying being able to finish a sticker collection and then not having to worry about it. I mean I know I'm not going to finish the mini swatches but it's nice to at least finish the decorative stickers and know that I don't have to worry about that. Yay! So then we flip to the 14th and the 15th and this is Saturday and Sunday again starting off with writing to do why did I just decide to do it on the one and not the other? There we go. And then using the pastel pumpkin swatches. I love these. Now, if you're not familiar with these, these were all hand painted using fountain pen ink by me. And then I scanned them and created this collection so that, you know, you can actually use these in your planner. And the great thing about the clear matte sticker paper is that it looks like it's painted onto the page. So taking a little bit of the washi strip there and placing one on both sides of the page. And you can it's very, very matchy-matchy and consistent across both pages. But in essence, it makes it just very, very easy for me to decorate because I know if I'm doing one thing on one side, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other. 
And in total, it takes me less than 10 minutes to decorate all of the daily spreads. So then I am ready for the rest of the week. It's holiday Monday and I'm journaling at 4.10 in the afternoon because we went for brunch this afternoon and then we went to Value Village to do some, well, Halloween costume sh shopping. And instead of getting Halloween costumes, I ended up getting a few cardigans. So I've written out my to-do list and I know it's already four o'clock in the afternoon, but it's still important for me to get my to-do list down on the page and then start writing using my Esterbrook SD in Petrified Forest. And the ink in here is Dime Mine Ancient Copper. I think the combination is just fantastic. For me, having the right pen and ink combination to go with the stickers just helps the overall journaling experience. And then here I am in my Hobonichi A6 five-year journal and the pen that I'm using for the month of October is my Leonardo Furore Aqua Petra and the ink is Van Diemen's Aurora Australis. That is a lot to remember. <laughs> But I love that I'm now in my second year and I can look back on what I did this time last year, what the weather was, and, you know, a couple things I'm grateful for. So it's just a very quick practice to fill in my A6 five-year journal. So that's Monday. Morning, Lucy. Another day, another journal entry. So this time using my Zodiac Penco Aries model in Arabian Nights. And this is filled with Diamine Jingleberry. Isn't it the best match for these fall or these pastel pumpkin stickers? So writing in my to-do list and then going on and starting journaling in my day. Now overall, for me, journaling has become a habit because I have my journal right next to me on my desk. And it's now become something that I feel like I need to do either throughout the day or at the end of the day to be able to clear my head and just put all of my thoughts on paper. And with that practice, it's become not just a habit, but now a behavior because it's just part of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And then with my five-year journal as well, for me, what motivates me is to be able to see that I wrote in this journal this time last year, and I'd like to compare this year to last year and knowing that next year it'll just be so much cooler to be able to see the third year in a row that I'll be writing in this journal. So that motivates me as well. What are some things that motivate you guys to keep journaling on a day-to-day -day basis? If not every day, then as much as you can. What works for you? Lucy. Lucy. Wasn't that a gorgeous sunrise? I love taking Lucy out for walks because the sunrise is just gorgeous in the fall and the winter. So once again, going into, what day is it? Wednesday the 11th and writing down my to-do list. There's quite a few things I need to do today because I am leaving for Kelowna as of tomorrow. And then again, journaling a little bit uh, for the day. Truthfully, I know that there are some people that find journaling really intimidating, really overwhelming, and it's hard to start. But one of the things that has helped me is that you don't, if you buy yourself an undated notebook, it's easier to keep to that and write in when you want to versus having to keep a dated Hobonichi cousin, for example. There's that pressure of having to write every day, whereas if you have a blank notebook, you date it when you want to and you journal when you want to and you're not restricted or pressured by having dated pages. Whereas with the A6 five-year journal, what I really like about this is because of its size, I'm not pressured to write a ton in here. This literally is the weather, one thing I'm grateful for, and just a summary of the day. I, I think I even remember one, like there's a few days in here where I actually wrote what the price of gas was. <laughs> and then looking back to it a year later, it was really interesting to, for me to see the change in the price of gas. So if you don't feel like you have anything to write about, write about things that are important to you that you know are going to change, like weather or, you know, things that are just even happening in your day to day. And then you'll remember that there's lots to write about. Happy Thursday. And here I am at the airport getting ready to take off. 
we are flying to Kelowna. I am flying with my sister and my parents and we're just heading away for the weekend. And yes, of course, I am bringing all of my journaling with me. Why wouldn't I? I want to keep track of everything that we're doing over the weekend. Look at the beautiful clouds here. I just had to share some of the stories footage from the week and then the mountains. We flew over the mountains, uh, the Rocky Mountains between Alberta and British Columbia, and it is stunning. So this is what we had for lunch. Then we went to the Sand Hill Winery where we got to try a few wines and just look around their overall shop. And then here I am at the desk at home, ready to journal. So even when I'm away, I am ready to journal. I've got my Hogtown Pens Paris and Bloom here. And as you can see there on the side, I have brought my uh, Coffee Monsters Co. pencil case or pen case to bring in all of my pens. And I didn't bring a ton of journaling stuff with me. It was basically four fountain pens in the Coffee Monsters Co. pen case and my Hobonichi cousin and my A6 five-year journal. I didn't bring stickers or anything like that. That's why I decorated my journal uh, at the beginning of the week so that I wouldn't have to worry about carrying a ton of stuff. So here for me, you know, when we get a little bit of quiet time during a really busy travel day, I find it so helpful to just be able to take out my Hobonichi cousin, my A6 five-year journal, and my pens, and that's it. I don't have to worry about fumbling with a whole bunch of stuff. So this for me was really, really helpful to be able to get that time to journal and also to have a new place to journal in. That was really cool. Friday, my dad and my sister and I, we took a walk along the waterfront to grab some coffee and just look at the beautiful, 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 beautiful fall colors, as well as just some of the, well, this dolphin waterfall has been around for 30 years in Kelowna. I remember it as a kid and it's just so funny seeing it now as an adult. And then just a quick little preview of me and my dad doing a heel kick. Oh yeah, in sync. And then finding some time to journal with this really lovely view from our Airbnb. And I do have to say, there are some things that I did for this video to make it look camera ready, but this was not the most comfortable place for me to journal. But still, as you can see here, journaling, is I'm still making part of my time on vacation because when you're vacationing, it can be so hard among the hustle and bustle of everything to find some time for yourself. And I'm so glad that when I'm traveling with my parents and my sister, we all like to have our little bit of alone time. So when I have alone time, I immediately grab my journals and start writing about the day. And then a lovely visit to Coyle's Gate Winery where we did a lovely wine tasting, walked around the grounds and you can see here the beautiful grounds and just how beautiful this area of British Columbia looks so happy to be here in such beautiful weather and then there's my sister and my parents how cute are they saturday we started off with breakfast at a place called the jammery where i had this gorgeous breakfast bowl which i think was featured on you've got it you here and then we went to a winery called gray monk now it was a little cloudy and rainy today but the views still are absolutely wonderful so here we did a lovely wine tasting and just this is what you do when you're in Kelowna and you're in wine country. And then we went to Ex Nihilo for another wine tasting, which was also quite lovely. And then for dinner, we went to a place called Skinny Dukes, which had such great food. And then just a little bit of journaling at the end of the day. Hey guys, I'm now back at home. And as you may have noticed, I didn't journal or even take any video on the Sunday. That was the day we uh, came home. I was just so exhausted. I didn't even film anything. I didn't journal. <laughs> Um, but here I'm going to take you guys through the flip through of my whole week. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Get the plant out of the way. So there's Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday. I really like the color of that dye, my Jingleberry ink. Really, really pretty ink. And then we have Thursday, Friday. I started writing with my Pelican M800 and I'm like, wait a second. I'm supposed to be writing with my 
Hogtown Pens Paris and Bloom with a Dye Mine Earl Grey, and I actually really like that combination better. And then for Saturday, I was writing with my Pelican M800, and then Sunday, I didn't write anything, so I caught up on the following Monday. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little vacation journaling vlog. For me, journaling really is about being able to put my memories down to paper. I have done a lot of like printing pictures before. I haven't printed any. I've actually been really bad the last six months. I haven't done any printing of pictures really for this half of the year. Um, and I don't know if that was just a personal choice that I wanted to keep pictures out of here. I don't know. But for me, journaling like this on a day-to-day -day basis allows me to be able to put everything to paper so that I don't have to keep everything in my brain. And then I also ended up updating all of my five-year journal as well. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you and gave you some type of insight into how I make journaling work for me. And hopefully you guys can find some tips in there to help you as well. Thanks again so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.